Hello everyone, welcome back uh, to another edition of uh, the Mini Rad Rover uh, from Rad Power Bikes. Um, uh, last time you saw me, I already uh, assembled most of it. I didn't put on the, unfortunately, I didn't put on the the lights yet, but that's all right. I'll I'll just wait for that. I did take it out for a quick test run, and uh, I noticed that the the gears was making a lot of noise. Um, as I was testing it out, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the derailleur. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Um, I did try to adjust the uh, the brake pads here. I did try to adjust the brake pads, but uh, I'm actually going to leave it as is. Um, I kind of already see it's kind of already scraping. Um, it's it's new out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and just deal with it, ride it around, let it uh, let it break in. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's just that the gears in the back here, it's really it's really bad. <laughs> so I just wanted to go ahead and at least uh, get this adjusted here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and adjust the gear. I'm going to the L the H, okay, the H and the L settings are on the side here, as you can see, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check on that and maybe some other things, but that's the, the most serious thing um, that I've noticed. Other than that, riding around with it is kind of fun. Uh, I'm just fine-tuning it. Uh, I eventually did adjust the handlebar, and what I did notice was there's a little wiggle room right here let me see let me get back here so there there is a wiggle there's no okay so right here there's a little wiggle room and uh you gotta tighten you gotta tighten this up and and then uh latch it and so that was uh eventually what was happening was that this was moving around this the actual uh right here was moving around and so the wheel and the and the handlebar was not lining up uh, I did eventually readjust this as well so I did that and so um, other than that uh, small little adjustments uh, I think it's I think everything is good here I haven't torqued anything yet I haven't even unfolded it I'll do that in another episode just right now I'm gonna focus on the derailleur uh, because that's the issue that I'm having and so let me go ahead and just cut in and cut out and I'll show you how to adjust the derailleur all right so basically with the tools that was provided for me from the toolkit I'm just gonna go ahead and use the, the flathead I think it works a lot easier I'm just gonna um, go ahead and uh, and basically uh, use the H so I'm gonna set it to uh, this gear which should be gear 7 and I'm going to uh, adjust the uh, H I'm gonna first uh, tighten okay so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this as much as I can okay so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this as much as I can and then I'm gonna adjust this gear and uh, play around with it. I want it to just make noise and then back off on that and just get it set to this uh, cog right here. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so um, I did uh, set it until it makes some noise and you can kind of hear it. You can also hear the brake pads, <clears throat> but you could hear this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just back off on that until it doesn't make any more noise like that, that clicking noise. Alright, so basically I, I, I did adjust the, the setting here. And you can kind of see that it, uh, this basically uh, lines up. So, so this derailleur right here does line up to this gear if you kind of follow it anyways um let's let's see how it pedals here 
it shouldn't it shouldn't make any more of that clicking noise. All right, excellent. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the different gears to the second gear and then adjust it using this loosening and tightening. Now this should have been tightened all the way. Yeah. Okay. This should have been tightened all the way. And so as I'm going to move it up, I'm going to listen for a clicking noise. And uh, there's not a lot of lubricant on this either, but that's all right. I'm just going to I'm just going to go with it for now. All right. So what I've done is I've turned it on the uh, the six from seven to six right here. So I put it on uh, seven to six on the gear settings, which should take it from the smaller one to the next biggest one. And um, let's see if it does that. And this is where you have to make the adjustment. So it's not moving. So this is where you have to uh, loosen it just a little bit here and see if it does that. No, need to keep on going. You kind of hear some clicking noises. So this is needs to be adjusted just a little bit more. A little bit more. Almost. Just a little bit more. Almost. Just a little bit more. There we go. Now it's on to the second. It's on the second part, or gear number six, I should say. All right, excellent. You can still hear that. <laughs> you can still hear the brakes, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. I'm just going to let it, I'm going to, you know, wear it in just a little bit. Um, so break it in is what they call it. So I'm going to move to the next gear. Let's see what happens here. I'm just going to go to, uh, wait for it to click. There we go. I just want to hear a click on that and then see how it goes from here. All right, so this needs to be adjusted as well. Just a little bit. Let's see if it, that picks it up. Nope. Doesn't pick it up. Just turning it slowly to there we go. Now now it picks up. There we go. Alright. So let's do that again. Let's click for here for a click. There we go. And see if it moves up to the next one. Yep, just moved up. Moved up just fine. Not a problem. Let's go to the next one. Uh, here for a click. There we go. And then, let's see how it works here. Yeah, it moved up. It did move up. No problem. And then I'm on number number two. Just here for a click. Number two. And then, let's see if the gears will move up. Yep, without any problems, it moved up. And let's just go all the way to the first gear. First gear. And I just want to yeah, hear that click and see if it moves up. Yep, it sure did. All right, now at this point, I'm going to uh, back it off a little and, and set the uh, L limit. I'll probably have to readjust it, but it was just sounding so bad when I was riding it that, uh, let me see here. I wonder if that tire is hitting, that chain is really close to that tire. Look at that. Wow, that chain is really close to that tire. I might have to see if this tire is even straight. Um, a little bit more adjustment, but uh, I'll set the L limit here with this screw and this one. Let me cut in cut out for that. Alright, so what I've done is I've set it to the second highest. You can see this is the highest right here. The second highest. Uh, it looks like this gear is actually a little different than the uh, than the um, um, the Rad Rover. So this thing may not be interchangeable 
with the Red Rover as I thought, but that's all right. The batteries, <laughs> the battery is still the same. So <clears throat> anyway, so I have the second to the highest. I put the L limit all the way, and I'm and I've adjusted it to the point where I think it's rubbing, uh, rubbing against the the, the larger gear here. I just want to hear for that noise. And you can almost kind of hear it. You hear that? Sorry. You can almost hear the rubbing on the chain at least. And so what I want to do is now I want to back it off until I don't hear that rubbing anymore. So let me cut in and cut out for that here. All right, it's not working out as I thought. So I put it onto the highest uh, cog here, and you kind of hear that that noise. So I'm going to adjust the L setting from there. It's kind of screwed all the way in. I'm going to back off on it until that noise goes away. And I think I'll set, that's going to be how I set my uh, L limit. All right, everyone. Uh, sorry, it took a while, but I had to do some adjustment. It's it's when when I did oil the chain a little bit as well, but um, the when it's on the uh, lowest gear or, or the biggest cog here, it makes this weird noise. And I'm not sure what it is, but the chain almost. I mean, the chain almost looks like it's rubbing against, it's very close to the tire. You can see that, like, very close to the tire. Uh, same thing right here as well. Look, It's very, very close to the tire here. Um, I'm not sure if that is an issue. Um, I ju I'm, ju I'm just hearing this weird clicking noise. I'm not sure what it is. All the other gears work just fine. Again, it may be uh, the chain needs to loosen up. I just need to ride it a little bit more. Um, that might be it. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll just ride it around. But this is the episode on the derailleur. Um, it, it is a little different than the Red Rover. So uh, I'll conclude this episode here. And hopefully I'll ride it around. Maybe it'll, it'll, it'll need a break-in period. So... Um, Anyways, uh, please uh, like, dislike, leave a comment, or even do a video response. Until next time, everyone, stay tuned. Bye.